Uh, Brazil's economy expanded 2.7 percent last year, and the finance minister predicts GDP will grow 4.5 percent this year. Since last fall, the central bank has cut its target lending rate by two percentage points. The inflation rate, however, hovers at 4.3 percent. That's the highest among G20 nations. Earlier this morning, I asked former central bank president Enrique Morales if he was concerned about hot money flowing into Brazil. Well, I think that there is uh, a concern that it becomes ex excessive. Uh, the investment uh, which is channeled to plants, equipment, either uh, via foreign direct investment or private equity or even in the market, uh, it's very positive for Brazil and for the productivity and competitive level of the Brazilian companies and the economy. But uh, when it gets excessive, particularly hot money, carry trade, etc., then it has a very negative side effect, which is the over-appreciation of the currency, uh, which is a negative side effect of the measures uh, taken uh, in the mature economies uh, for to address their problems. In summary, I think the question here is to control that and to control the excesses. So do you think there is a currency war underway? I think that Brazil should and to keep taking the measures to protect its economy from the excessive inflow of particularly carry trade because indeed that's negative. Uh, your, your finance minister in Brazil has used that term currency war. What do you think that means? Well, basically, uh, it, uh, it means that some uh, countries are adopting policies that has, as one of the effects of the appreciation of their currencies, which creates a problem for other countries uh, which are growing and have a solid uh, economy, as the case of Brazil, which uh, then tend to have their currencies overly appreciated, and those countries are taking measures to protect their economies, as it is the case of Brazil.